Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your March 2018 general reading. These messages will be for uh, Sun, Moon, and Rising Virgos. If it doesn't resonate with you, check your Rising, Moon, Venus, whatever else sign. Or just check with a different reader. They may pull your energy, okay? All right, so let's get started. I'll save the announcements till the end. Thank you for the messages for Virgo and love. Messages for Virgo, for love. Thank you for the messages for Virgo, for love. True, accurate messages for Virgo and love. Messages to govern, to guide their lives. Messages for Virgo and love. Nice, Ace of Pentacles. Princess of Wands. Virgo and love. True, accurate messages for Virgo and love. Rebirth or judgment. Seven of Pentacles. The bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. Nice. Okay, so for some of my Virgos, Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy, Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy. Some of you want something very solid. Ace of Pentacles. You want something very solid with someone else. Could be a younger fire sign or someone who takes on fire qualities. Like Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Very charismatic. Could be an entrepreneur. Could just be a very fun person. Very fun loving. Intuitive. Uh, attractive. Sexy. I'm here. Sultry. Hmm. Uh, some of you want a second chance with them so that you can offer something solid. You're waiting, too, for that. Seven of Pentacles. Waiting. Because you feel like it's going to make you the Ten of Pentacles. Um, excuse me, the Ten of Cups. Very happy. So it give you a happy home life, family life. It could be like the Knight of Swords rushing into to them to give your truth but you're waiting for that opportunity All right. that's for some of my Virgos okay so let's do another love spread thank you for the messages for Virgo in love messages for Virgo in love true accurate messages for Virgo Messages for Virgo and love. It's way too many. I'm not going to take those. If they want to come out, they'll come back out. Messages for Virgo and love. True, accurate messages for Virgo. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. Strength. The High Priestess. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Bottom of the Deck, Seven of Wands. Could be dealing with a Leo. They're very defensive toward you, though, toward the connection. Get my skirt together. Uh, very defensive toward the connection of the Seven of Wands here in the at the bottom of the deck. You're waiting for them, though. If not a Leo, something like a fire sign. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, like yourself. You planted seed here, and you, and you want harvest. Harvest with them. Either you or them, they're having strength. In dealing with the connection or the lack of connection I don't feel like you guys are talking someone you're waiting for you're not talking to you're speaking through spirit with them you're holding a secret from maybe a now partner that you want someone else you're in grief great grief over the loss of of this person or the fact that they aren't talking to you you are not talking to them communication is is halted You talk to them via spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> They're very defensive about 
the connection, seven of wands, ace of cups. There is love there. The three of wands, they are far from you. They aren't, they aren't close. And they aren't taken to any offer of yours, the four of cups. With strength here, the devil was here. You could have had a particular person in a third party situation, vice versa. They could have had you in a third party situation to where you're standoffish and very um, defensive toward them. Somebody's defensive. Someone is exercising great strength to not talk to you, to stay away from you. The telepathic psychic connection is there. It's still there, though. They can't get rid of that. They feel it. You feel it. But they're blocking it. They don't want anything to do with it or vice versa. This could be you, Virgo. Through career and finance. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for career and finance. Messages for Virgo and career and finance. Career and finance. Messages for Virgo. Career and finance. Career and finance for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Career and finance. Career and finance. Right. Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Lovers. Six. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. <clears throat> Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Excuse me, I am getting over a cold. Sorry. someone took a break to decide. We got two choice cards, two deciding cards. Ooh, decide if they want it to they want it the person they're with or the other person. Deciding if they want to get married. Mm. Five of Cups, Seven of Wands again. Prince of Pentacles. Princesses. So some of you could be dealing with the air sign, another herb sign like yourself, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's spying. Somebody's really watching someone really heavily. Because there was a third party or there still is a third party. The Prince of Pentacles is here. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Virgo or whomever you're dealing with. I don't know. It could be you, Virgo. It could be someone else. You want to give your time, your love, your attention your life to somebody else, not the person you're with. Get two decision cards. Nine of swords. <clears throat> Ten of swords. And then the hermit. Here's your card. Yeah, you... Uh. You want out of a relationship, but you aren't sure if it's going to work elsewhere. So you stay. You stay because you say, well, it's not that bad here. It's not that good either. But it's not that bad. <clears throat> you don't know if you want marriage. Then here's the Hierophant or the High Priestess. You're still acting as if uh, you're single with the Three of Cups. You might want reconciliation, fun times with 
someone who you deemed as a soulmate, two of pentacles, yeah, this, this single woman, single man, but you put a lot of burden on this person to the point where, once again, they will not even take to any offer that you extend to them, but you're waiting for them. This is supposed to be in career and finance. And once again, love has spilled over. For some of you, you're taking time out for a choice that you need to make in career and finance. One choice is risky, the other one is practical. One of them will give you the recognition that you, you desire but you're very um, guarded. Seven of Wands, Five of Cups. You're grieving a loss of maybe in the past you lost a large sum of money. You're thinking about embarking on this, this new venture or taking to a new offer with the Prince of Pentacles here that will make you like the Queen of Pentacles. Very solid, stable. You're doing your research in regards to this because this will once again make you solid and stable with the four of wands. But you have some anxiety about moving forward, ten of swords, because you've been disappointed before. So you're going within, seeing how you operated in the past, seeing what you did in the past. Because this is big business with the high priestess. That could bring celebration, love, that could set you on a good foot with the Nine of Pentacles. It's a lot of burden here, Four of Cups. You might not want to take to it because it's a lot of burden. But you want harvest. So this is pretty much about taking a risk. You have to decide which which avenue to go in career and finance. Do you stay with the more practical or the, the one that's riskier? But it will probably give you greater success in terms of monetary and, um, you know, monetary gain and, and recognition from peers and partners. It's love and money here. Okay. All right. Home and family. Home and family for Virgo. Messages of home and family for Virgo. True, accurate messages for Virgo. Home and family. Home and family, true messages for Virgo. Home and family. The devil, some of you could be with a Capricorn. Justice. Eight of Swords. Five of Swords. Seven of Swords. Five of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. Home and family. Okay, home and family is off. It's a bit off. There could be a level of toxicity, codependency, uh, addiction in the home and family. Someone wants justice or things just to be fair or balanced. Things are off kilter. Things are just out of control. The devil. Someone doesn't see a way out or a way to a more calm time or or or, or someone doesn't see a way to get more peace in the home. Even it reduces because this person starts to plan. Seven of 
Swords talks about planets that reduces from the Eight of Swords to the Seven of Swords, where they start to plan, uh, uh, make a plan of how to get things back on track at home. Now, it's a plan that is made in secrecy. Most times, this plan only includes the person who's making the plan. Like, it doesn't include everybody in the home. I'm sorry, it's not funny, but some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Virgo, that is like devising a plan of action to escape the home, to escape the drama, the fighting, the five of wands. The only way I can think of escaping drama and fighting would be to leave the home. They're planning, making a plan of escape. At first, they didn't see a way out. Now they say, you know what? If I put this in order correctly, and this could be you, Virgo, then I can get out. Because at the, the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. It's just too much for them to, to bear anymore. The petty arguing, the fight, and the competition is too much for them to bear. So they rather leave with the Ten of Wands. Wow. And then the Magician. Someone is really man pulling the strings here, really manipulating the situation to where it best benefits them. What did I tell you? And then the Eight of Cups. What? These cards do not lie. This person is planning the great escape. It's too much for them. This could be you, Virgo, or whomever you're dealing with. It could be dealing with the Libra. Libra's good at this. Planning the great escape. That's what's going on in home and family. Let's do spirituality and inner growth. Spirituality, inner growth for Virgo. True messages of spirituality and inner growth. For Virgo. Messages to govern and guide their lives. Bringing them back to our creator in prayer and supplication. Reverence. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For the messages for Virgo. Do I take these? Nine of Swords, Five of Cups, Three of Wands, the Tower, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Bottom of the Deck, Ace of Wands, Okay, so there's not a lot of groundedness spiritually and um, as far as inner growth is concerned. A lot of you are grieving or in a grief status or you just keep thinking of past relationship. You don't see what you have or you don't want what you have. You would rather leave partnership behind and just look to the future. It looks like Spirit will give you that by way of the tower, give you an out or give you an opportunity to walk out, but I don't see you doing anything. The Two of Pentacles sits there. You'll be in further contemplation. Seven of Cups, confused, emotionally confused. The universe... <laughs> Spirit can't work here because you've got one foot in and one foot out. You don't really know what you want. The nine of swords here. The ace of wands is here saying that they'll be, you'll get some fire under your butt about 
what you need to do. Four of Pentacles, but you're still holding on. Four of Cups. Death card, and then the Four of Swords. Hmm. All these fours is what I mentioned. <clears throat> oh, oh, just before we started, there's not a lot of groundedness. Spirit is trying to get you grounded. Four pinnacle. Four of cup. Death. And then the four of swords. <clears throat> yeah, um. question of asking what you want if you know what you want then you can put that out to the universe and they can help you get it if you don't know what you want then you there's no help there can be no help there because you don't even know what you want you spirit would essentially give you someone or something and you would say I don't know if I want this because you never knew what you wanted so it's about becoming grounded within yourself, that inner growth, transform, let something die within you, have that silence and that solitude, that meditation, so that spirit, ace of wands can come in and work and give you that boost of energy, that fire, that desire, that passion to move in the direction of what you want or who you want for yourself it looks like in the the other spreads you're waiting for somebody you're waiting for something but at the same time you're already in something so it's like well what do you want find out what you want Virgo. and let's get some cards of advice Thank you for two cards of advice for Virgo love, Virgo's love life, Virgo in love, two cards of advice for Virgo in love, two cards of advice for Virgo in love, two cards of advice, two cards of advice, two cards of advice for Virgo in love. Be true to you. Sentimental feelings. Wow. That was all over the reading. Be true to you. Sentimental feelings. In love. You know what you want. Be true to it. Hold true to it. Know that it will come to you if you're truthful about it. If you keep trying to suppress it, deny it. You drive yourself crazy. There are sentimental feelings here, either for the situation you're in or for one you want to be in. I really feel like it's for the one you're in because sentimental feelings are, there's a, there's a level of sentiment, of love, of care, um, but emotions aren't stirred, you know? It's like, it's care. But it's not passion. It's not desire. It's not it, it, it's not fiery. It's it's you know it, I hate to 
describe it like that. But it's like, okay, I I don't want to see this person hit by a bus, but you know, to say that I'm madly in love with them would be wrong. But I don't want to see them hit by a bus. You know, it's like. It's like you care, but it's not it's not great. You you have a desire, a passion, a longing for something or someone else. And that's why it's saying be true to you. Sentimental feelings are, are keeping you where you are. Alright, two cards for career and finance. Career and finance. Career and finance. Career and finance. Career. And finance. Whoa, moving, gracefully aging, nice, moving is not always, okay, of course it's physically moving, career and finance, you could be moving for a job, you could be moving for a business or your own business, um, or you could be moving jobs, you could be getting a new job, uh, you could be moving into a new career path, uh, but there's some movement around career and finance, gracefully aging. Mm, I just heard it. Some of you are in show business, in business to where, you know, your your physicality is, is highly important. But we're all human, so we age, um, gracefully aging. Talks about different beauty regimens. Uh, uh, also, keep in mind of your age. Don't try to hide it or shield it by way of dressing too young, appearing too young. Just always be in the know. Always be um what what am I trying to say? It's like always being you know, fashion forward, you like, you know what's going on, fashion, you know, fashion wise for your age sector. Like, I'm not going to dress like a, a 15 year old. Sometimes I do. No. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm always going to be relevant, but not so trendy that it's it's completely youthful and it it's just no it's not translating well gracefully aging okay home and family um spiritual growth seek it and find it some of you have gone on that spiritual growth journey or you're still on it we're all always still on it um, I'm here that some of you have grown spiritually or you're right in the midst of it because in order to grow spiritually, you have to be seeking that information. You have to be seeking, seeking that knowledge. What you're seeking is, is looking for you also. You'll find it. Um, that's in home and family. I think that's why there's so much division and so much strife there somebody is growing more spiritually getting more spiritually mature than the other more spiritually aware than the other somebody's also spying on the other in the home and family all right spiritual growth spirituality and inner growth spirituality and inner growth Memories, nice. So you have memories, memories of the past, past lover, past job, memories, inner growth, spirituality. All right, too many. Memories are a good thing, you know. But memory sometimes won't keep you, will keep you from moving forward, or they won't, or they'll keep you n not grounded. And it looks like, and when we have, when we pull the spiritual, um, spirituality and inner growth, 
you had like three fours. Well, three is divinity, and then four is, is solid. Is you know is um you know being on solid ground, that solid foundation. You needed to be more grounded. You need to be more grounded. Maybe you need to engage in less memories, engage in the here and the now. Understand that here and now, um, this is what's going on. The memories can sometimes keep you in your head and your emotions. And the Seven of Cups also. Spirituality and inner growth. Spirituality, inner growth. Your cards don't want to come out. No. Sobriety. What did I just say? <clears throat> this could... I just heard that for a lot of you, sometimes y'all get get drunk or start drinking, and those memories come back, and that you want it all back over again, and that's what's keeping you from being grounded. For some of you, I'm hearing that the memories keep you not thinking soberly, not not in sobriety. You <clears throat> you're up in the clouds. You're on cloud nine and not thinking about the here and the now, the problems here and now, the, the drama, the frustration here and now. You keep the memories of uh, of the good times in the relationship you're with. You keep the memories of the person you want to be with. And it keeps you from actually taking action, taking the next step, making a decision in regards to your life and what you want to do. Memories are keeping you intoxicated. You need a, a, a dose of sobriety, a dose of um, level-headedness, a dose of being grounded. That's what grounded means, being level-headed. Like You see everything from the ground level. All right, Virgo, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you to those who've already requested readings. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you to the newcomers. The people who have been with me since day one is great. It's grand. It's, it's growing. Um, remember, Virgo, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Uh, all information of how to contact me. I'm on Instago if you want to ask a question or two. I think most readers are on that on that app. It's a iPhone app or Apple app, whatever. Uh, all information is below. All information is below. All information is below. All right. All right. So take care, guys. Talk to you soon.